There's a little candy store here in Victoria with a peculiar name. It's actually a reference to the province's first parliament buildings, which people used to call the bird cages because they looked like, well, bird cages. By 1892, the government had outgrown these buildings and announced a competition to design a new and grander replacement. The architect selected to design the new parliament buildings was a 25-year-old newcomer named Francis Rattenbury. Construction took five years with many costly delays, but the young architect stuck to his vision and the results are impressive even today. Rattenbury used many classical elements such as columns, rounded arches and a huge dome surrounded by smaller ones. He used building materials native to British Columbia, such as granite from Howe Sound and black slate from Jervis Inlet. The building's interior was finished with a variety of woods from BC's forests, including Douglas fir, cedar and maple. Both inside and outside are statues of notable British Columbians, people like James Douglas, the first governor, and Chief McQuinna, a famous leader of the Nuchanoth people. On top of the dome is Captain Vancouver, who in the 1790s claimed all this area for the British Crown. Inside, stained glass windows represent many themes, such as the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria in 1897 and the Golden Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth in 2002. The building's most important function is to house BC's Legislative Assembly, where the province's laws are made. Free guided tours are given year-round, and in the summer, actors portray the likes of James Douglas and Francis Rattenbury. The capital belongs to all of us in British Columbia, and so do the Parliament buildings. It's a landmark and a setting that we can all be proud of.